Hi, my name is Dave. Today we're going to have a look at the charming Halley Multi 70S telescope from the 1980s, 1985 or so, around the time of Halley's Comet. So, uh, and this one is, uh, it's got some unique features. Seldom seen in the United States. I don't believe these were marketed in the United States at all. Uh, I think it was a version that was marketed in Europe. But this has got a couple of really cool, unique, interesting features. Quirky. You're going to like them. Many of you have probably seen this kind of mount before. This uh, cute little tabletop mount. It's counterbalanced. Well, the counterbalance isn't quite enough to really take care of all the weight of the scope. It's got a friction control there also. And it, of course, turns on the mount like so. Like that. It's as cute as it could be, especially in the orange color. I love the, the little star diagonal. Isn't that cute? I don't think I've seen this on any other scope. Completely captivating. Comes with a Vixen Ortho 9mm. That's a good eyepiece. Comes with a Barlow also, but that's the only eyepiece that it comes with. Nice 6x30 Vixen 5. Let me show you how this slow motion works. I'm turning the screw here. And as you can see, the scope is moving left to right. A little like Finder, but these are these are uh, spring-loaded, like in the Unitron mount. So there is a left-right. Here's up-down. Same thing. And it's very nice, very convenient. It's nice. The ratio is really nice for being able to center things, track the moon, etc. Here are the accessories that come with this scope. It comes with a nice little carry case, kind of a typical thing. Instruction manual. So, here are the accessories that come with this scope. It comes with a uh, an ortho 9mm, nice eyepiece, but by itself it is not enough. It needs another eyepiece. It needs a 20mm or something like that. Comes with a Barlow, which is fairly uh, not functional, not useful. Uh, comes with the star diagonal, which is really interesting. It's got a charming, I don't think there's anything special about it, but it's a charming form factor to it. Image erecting system, extension tube. Here's how it looks in the box. There's an envelope in the back for this instruction manual. Opens up like so. There's all the accessories in here. There's the mount. There's the scope. These two telescopes date from the mid 1980s when there was a big furor about uh, Halley's Comet. And uh, Vixen made not just these two, but several other, including, including I believe, a six inch, maybe even an eight inch um, Newtonian and several other small scopes in the color scheme with Halley printed all over them prominently. And uh, so there are a good number of these that are available. Now, which of these scopes is better? I would have to say definitely this one. This is a, although it's a 70 millimeter scope, it's um, much easier to use than this thing. This thing if you haven't seen a review on this one, you really want to watch the review on this one, before, especially before you buy one. Uh, adjusting this is a, a real nightmare. Once you get it in, it's not bad, but even then, it really just doesn't perform as you might wish it to perform. This is a fast 70 millimeter, um, so it does have a little bit of chromatic aberration. It's an acromat, but it's a really good scope. It's got nice optics, nice sharp crystal clear with a little bit of fringing uh, good clear diffraction patterns it's a it's a really fine scope i would highly recommend this one let's compare this scope with the vixen multi 70s 
Uh, this is identical it's in terms of the optics. It's a 70 millimeters, 400 millimeter focal length telescope. I'm sure that the objectives are identical. As a matter of fact, both of them perform superbly. They're very good. Of course, they have uh, the color that you would expect from a 70 millimeter, uh, 400 millimeter focal length acromat. Fast acromats are going to have some color, but they're extremely well made. They're very nicely done. So uh, Vixen is known for making good refractors. The Multi 70S comes with two eyepieces. Um, and I think they were really trying to market this as a multiple use telescope. The brochure is all about uh, taking pictures of birds and animals and stuff like that, as well as the moon and the stars, etc. Anyway, I think they were marketed to like the average person looking for a spotting scope that maybe wanted to do some astronomy. Uh, the eyepieces are marked 16x and 44x rather than uh, the focal length of the eyepiece, uh, the traditional thing. Anyway, I, I believe that's pretty much a dead giveaway. These are intended for, um, you know, more daily kind of a user. And the tripod here is also a giveaway. It's not a very good tripod, by the way. It's sort of barely functional. Um, and the tripod is, just, it's kind of a throw-in thing. One thing this doesn't have, and I've, I've shown it with this little slow motion unit on here, which I absolutely adore. These are nice. This little slow motion unit on here, really nice. It replaces this. This doesn't come with that stock. So, which of these telescopes is better? Well, you buy this one, throw it away, keep the eyepieces, use this one. <laughs> Throw away the tripod too because the tripod sucks. But <laughs> get a better tripod. <laughs> use the two eyepieces with this one. You need a, a low power eyepiece with this one and a, a full size tripod would actually be, make it much more useful. I hope you enjoyed having a look at the Halley Multi 70S telescope made by Vixen. Thank you for watching.